Vienna, the world's capital of classical music, boasts a variety of distinct attraction and cultural heritage beside the Danube River. The city features both classic elegance and modern fashion. What's more, technology is creating a new lifestyle that's going viral, powering up zero carbon home. Let's check it at Carbon Talk. As the global community advances towards carbon neutrality, more and more individuals and households are going green to a lead a new low carbon life. Green, smart, and sustainable home are now a trend. Huawei Zero Carbon Home Solution is one fits-all solution designed to shape the future of zero carbon home around the globe. The solution blends technology, essentially seamlessly adding intelligence to the life. Technical innovations such as active safety help more households to build zero carbon home for a better greener life. Huawei Luna 2000 S1 is our latest generation of energy storage products. It has the world's largest throughput and a lifespan of up to 15 years, setting a new industry standard for energy storage. Kenneth,、uh, nice to meet you again.、Uh, would you like to introduce about this the the family solution to us? Yeah, sure. I think I can start off a little bit.、Um, a part of looking at the solution itself, talking about、uh, our vision. We are actually trying to achieve with our solution. So I think,、um, from our perspective,、um, we are already reaching a phase of talking about zero carbon homes on the individual level. So the next step, which we are looking forward to, is actually realizing a zero carbon community in Germany. For example, right now, I think a lot of partners are talking about virtual power plant system, which they are trying to realize、uh, with different solutions. So of course, the energy management system binds in. Very Very importantly, into that combining smart home with your PV system, really reaching a level of、uh, working with loads, integrating basically your energy consumption. So all of these are topics which we consider in our solution, which we try to integrate, enable、uh, with our current solution to realize this vision together with our partners.、Uh, you also integrated the the charger. Yes, I think that part actually makes me personally、uh, okay. quite happy because、uh, for a long time I had the discussion、uh, in my own personal with、um, I, me wanting to switch to electrical vehicle,、okay. uh, but then not wanting to use,、uh, let's say, a separate solution from the remaining Huawei system. So、mm. when my father and I discussed it for, for our household,、mm. uh, we said、uh, if we want it, we want a fully integrated approach, and I think that's a little bit、uh, the Huawei philosophy. That we want to offer all in one solution. So the logical step was, of course, to provide a corresponding AC charger as well for the household application, flexibly, of course, for the one-phase and three-phase application.、Mm. So here I see this is a one-fits-all solution. Would you like to introduce what that means, one-fits-all? I think basically we have to look at the application side. So first of all, I mentioned the modularity of application that you can scale up,、uh, regardless of the size of your PV system and of your demand、uh, for storage. So、uh, sometimes、uh, certain people have more consumption in the evening time. So logically, they will require bigger batteries. So we try to factor all of this in to、mm-hmm. give basically flexibility to the installer, but also to the end consumer to decide what. He actually requires based on his electricity consumption. The other part, all fits one, is the idea is to have basically an on-grid,、okay. but also a solution which is able to work in an off-grid scenario. If the grid would disconnect, that you are capable of running your PV system for downtime.、And、that is the I- two ideas basically with all f-、uh, one fits all. Yeah, that's a real smart、uh, the PV solution、exactly. through this one. Elsa, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.、Uh, today I saw this scenario that the Luna S1 are in the water. Would you like to introduce、uh, what's the key technology? The key technology for the Luna S1 is the level protection IP66, which it can, with, and as a demonstration here, it can with, withstand up to 40 centimeters of water immersion and also heavy rain. 
in which type of scenarios this could happen. This could, it could happen in uh, natural disasters such as floods and heavy raining. So we can be sure that no water damage will be done to the Luna and also will still in operation mode. So it will be able to charge and discharge the battery under these water conditions. So this um, battery now is uh, working now, yeah? Correct. Here the main idea of this scenario is to show and demonstrate that our Luna battery as one can withstand uh, very harsh environments such as very low temperature like up to minus 20 Celsius degrees and also on the warmer side it can go up to 55 but uh, in this scenario we're simulating uh, very cold weather like we're in the mountains with snow so in like very cold scenarios the battery can still be on operational mode and um, it can still charge and discharge um, providing energy to the household. For the lithium battery, if the temperature lower the zero degree, so normally the, uh, the capacity for the battery will reduce. So how about this one? Uh, the working technology that we have implemented inside of each module is that the, it has some heating panels and also temperature sensors uh, connected to every two cells. So it is monitoring internally the temperature and providing the optimal um, temperature uh, range in order to the cells to work properly and efficiently. So we can make sure uh, that no efficiency degradation will be held during low temperature conditions. Okay, that's quite good. I know in Europe, uh, many countries in the winter, the temperature will lower than, you know, zero degrees. So that's quite a, a useful in European market. Yes, exactly. And it's also possible to use it outside, even though it's snowing or uh, there's a, maybe it's not like every day minus 20 degrees, but exactly that day that you want to use your battery as well, it will still work while others might not withstand minus 20 Celsius degrees. How does the, their customer respond about this function? They are of course very happy with that uh, because it means that it allows also more flexibility for them to install it in garage or areas where are not well uh, temperature regulated. Sometimes they have to install a battery in the garage and the garage is not heated. So when it reaches below zero degrees, they need to add an additional cost to heat this area or yeah. the location of the battery. So that's very good for them. So Elsa, would you like to introduce uh, this scenario? In this scenario, we would like to demonstrate uh, the strong design and structure of our, each of the modules of the Luna S1. And it can withstand, in this example, up to five ton. So, in, in like what example or what magnitude of uh, pr power pressure is this? You can imagine, for example, the most common case scenario that I think a lot of people and most of us have experienced is like a car when you are entering a garage or where you're driving your car and may hit something. Mm -hmm. So the, the battery can withstand that type of, of, of scenarios. Other scenarios are, for example, on an um, uh, earthquake and where the roof is collapsing and a lot of pressure is put on the module of the batteries because okay. of all the concrete and, and roof structure that is putting pressure on the battery. So you can imagine that it is also thought and, and designed uh, with the thought of many different scenarios, but always ensuring that safety first. Here we can see uh, how the test is being done. So we are applying a force here with this machine. And here in the graph, you can see how uh, the pressure is increasing with the time. It's increasing. Here you can see that this number is getting higher and it will reach uh, these uh, five tons that uh, we were mentioning that it can withstand. Now we have reached uh, these uh, five uh, tons of pressure. And you can see that the battery is still intact, still in the same form. It hasn't been deformed or anything like that. So it's still on working mode. Okay, that's fantastic. Higher reliability is a lifeline of PV and energy storage products. Huawei Luna 2000 S1 leverage cutting edge technologies to offer a brand new experience in zero carbon electricity consumption. It is worth noting that in an actual marketing process, 
dealer and installer play a pivotal role in bridging the product and users. I know that the uh, the, the the requirement for the uh, house is quite different. So, what do you think about this new product, Luna S1? The, the benefit uh, is that my customers they demand a lot of kilowatt hours. So, right now from start, we can uh, we can address that by by having more kilowatt hours. So, so that's the the main difference the, yeah. because with the old product, which we are very pleased with, also uh, and also all the other, uh, for example, in new houses mm. uh, and uh, the. There is a limit for the space where you can use batteries, so this will increase our capacities to uh, to install the batteries on the outside of the houses. What kind of product you you choose, and what's the uh, why you choose the Huawei? Yeah, I think we are more than ten years VAP, very okay. added partner of Huawei, okay. and we have only Huawei in our portfolio. It's more than business; it's a partner. Huawei is a partner, a long-term partner with innovative products, one of the after. Carbon neutrality has shifted from a global consensus to a global action, while the government, institution and enterprise are striving for this common goal. Every individual and household can do their part to achieve it or sooner. With our one fits all solution, we have provided a green power service for 3.3 million households worldwide and we are making green electricity accessible to every home by empowering homes that have always shine. We are contributing a more sustainable future. Thank you for your time. Stay tuned for our next episode.